Hello everyone, this is Bowtie Daniels, and welcome back to another episode here on the Wirecraft Season 2 server. In our last episode, we went ahead and we built this uh, pretty awesome uh, automatic kelp farm. And it's been working out pretty well. In fact, I can't even keep up with the, uh, the production. Uh, so if I come down here, we're already going to have one, two, three, four... A little, little more than four chests, plus what's in the hoppers, of uh, what's been coming in through this farm. And, like I said, I can't keep up with it. <laughs> it. It produces stuff so fast that I can only AFK for short periods of time. Otherwise, it starts filling up everything and uh, slowing things down here. So, I may want to consider doing an on-off switch for this farm. Um, I don't know. Haven't, haven't thought about that too much. Haven't decided for sure. So, I just want to kind of show off and, and see what's going on over here, and then we're going to hop back over to the base and I'll show you uh, how, how I had that smelted up. Now, I do need to create an auto, auto smelter for this. Uh, I haven't decided how I want to do that yet. I started playing around with some things, I just haven't found a design that I liked yet. So, we're not going to be doing that in today's episode. We're going to be working on some other stuff here, but before I get into that, I just want to give you some more updates on this farm so you can see how well it... Uh, is producing and I want to show you some of the modifications that I made since the last time we've been together so obviously uh, this area here has been modified uh, I don't want to carry these with me I don't need them on me uh, for item collection and storage just because I could not keep up with the single or with a couple of chests that I had up here so I expanded it off into this area which was something I was gonna do anyways probably for when I started doing the smelting um, I also fixed most of the item loss that I had that was going on where items were getting stuck up under the hoppers. So I put in a bunch of fence gates. I tried using uh, signs. They didn't work as well as keeping the water um, from flowing in here. So what happens is items will come up and if they get, get stuck underneath the hopper. They end up just falling down into this gap and then getting collected by these hoppers here. So now I have the hopper chain coming all the way down. They meet up in that spot right there, and then flow off to the side uh, into those chests. So that's how I have that working. Um, and this this farm has been working pretty well. I did have it break on me at one point. I think what happens sometimes is when the flying machines come over, um, and if a piece of kelp that it just broke grows up behind it, it, it triggers the observer again and could cause a problem. Uh oh. <laughs> Well, maybe if we hang out here for a second, I'll be able to show you how this uh, new item collection works. So let's see, you got all the items that come up, they flow to the side, and I don't think we're going to see anything get caught because of the way I have it set up now. But, uh, let's see, do I have anything that's flying down yet? Yes, yeah, so you have a couple here and there that are uh, getting trapped in the side. You have these pieces. Nope, nothing's falling down right now. But I'm sure if I look into here, there might be a couple. No, no, okay. So that was a pretty good harvest then. Not too much uh, got stuck in the side here. Now I still do have to figure out what to do about the pieces that come in on the side here. Like this is still a problem. I haven't been able to figure out a better way of doing that. Uh, so that was only about uh, 16 pieces there. I have 18 in my inventory that I picked up two during the harvest. Uh, so that's a problem. And then sometimes, doesn't look like it happened this time, but sometimes pieces will get pushed out through the leaf blocks up the top. Or maybe they're coming out through this hole here that I use as a quick access. And I'll lose a couple that way. So it's not that much though. Like, you, you know, you see there I only lost, uh, uh, 18. So, yeah, and then uh, I've been filling up my shulker boxes, coming back over here. I cleaned up some of this area a little bit. I got rid of the track that was coming through here because um, I don't need it anymore since I was just removing villagers. And right now I just have this sort of smelting array uh, coming up. And this has been working out really well. So, as you can see, these chests are all full. These chests are all... Excuse me whether I'm recording. Um, are all pretty much full as well. That means the hoppers are full. You know, inside of here is, oh, I'm about to run out of fuel there. How are these hoppers doing? I wonder if I'll finish up, uh, 
a full stack before it, it hits and, and runs out of fuel. Because that that's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to get this completely uh, fueled up. And now I can deposit my boxes over here. So this is where I've been keeping the boxes that I need to smelt. So as you can see, it's been working pretty well. I got quite a bit. I cannot keep up with uh, with production here. And I've just been using kelp blocks as the fuel. So I, I've pretty much used up all the fuel here. Um, that That's the last block I have left. And then I'll just start turning this into fuel. But uh, what I've been wanting to do is these these uh, uh, furnaces, they hold XP, so I've been wanting to get the XP from them. Uh, but I haven't been able to do that until everything's filled up. So eventually, hopefully by the end of this episode, we'll be able to come back and get the furnaces filled up with XP. So let me go sleep real quick and get rid of this rain and thunderstorm, because I don't, I don't want that going on this entire time while I'm recording. So I've got the weather taken care of, and we're going to be going off in this direction to, I believe this is what, the e west? Uh, to this island over here. I did a little bit of pre-work on this already. I flattened it out and I, you know, made sure it was nice and lit up. Uh, as you can see, I've already placed down a bunch of torches and I put down an e-chest. Uh, let me pull this out real quick because I also want to put a bed over here. That way if it rains, or not rains, if it uh, turns night while we're working, we can always change it back to day. Uh, so we got that taken care of there. And so what I want to do in this space is I want to make a, a cactus farm. Now, I'm not really going to need a whole lot of cactus dye, but I, at least not over the course of the entire series, but I do need a bunch uh, right now for the next thing that I want to work on, which is actually building up the walls of my base area. I left that open and unprotected for too long. And to do that, I want to make it with green uh, uh, terracotta. So in order to do that, I need green cactus dye. Uh, so I've gone ahead and I started gathering up some materials. So I have about a stack and a half of cactus that I want to go ahead and build a farm out of in this area. Now, I don't know exactly what it's gonna look like, but what I think I want to do is kinda have some like silos over here. So maybe have like a small one here, um, and then a larger one over here. I think it'd be interesting just to do a design like that, just for, for aesthetics. Uh, no, no real purpose, no real benefit of, of doing it that way. Uh, and I don't think I want this to be like a giant farm going up into the sky, like maybe coming up to about here or so. So I'll, I'll probably dig down a couple of layers and uh, start the farm down there somewhere. And I think I also want to set up a portal over here because I could fly back and forth pretty quickly, but if I'm traveling through the nether and I need to come here, I don't want to have to go to the overworld and then fly back over here. So I'll, I'll set up a portal here too, and I gotta find the right cords to do that. All right, welcome back. I've gotten my layout taken care of and my nether portal set up. Let's just take a sky view so you can kind of get the idea of the sizes that we're working with. So I'm gonna have a small silo on this side and then a larger silo on this side. Uh, this one is a 19 by 19 space. That means the inside of it is actually 17 by 17. Uh, same thing on this side. It is set up to be a 13 by 13 space, but the inside is actually uh, 11 by 11 because this is uh, uh, 13 from here to there. So the next thing I gotta figure out is how I'm actually gonna lay out the cactuses, or the cacti rather, on the inside of these circles. So I gotta figure that out because I can't put a cactus plant right there because if it grows up, it's gonna, you know, interfere with the walls. So that that's gonna be a, a problem because it won't grow there. But I can have a cactus plant here because these uh, uh, blocks that are on a diagonal from it aren't gonna interfere with its growth. So I gotta play around with that and figure out what the spacing is going to be. I also wanna make sure I have at least, you know, one one space uh, in between plants like that. So I gotta figure out if this is more efficient or, uh, well, no, I can't put anything there and there. So I can put something there and I could uh, just do the farm like that. Now, I don't know if this is really the best way to do it because when a cactus plant breaks, so for example, if these were, were cactus and that were to say break and fall in that direction. Let's see if I can make this happen again. Um, now let's get rid of this block. And so if the, the block lands on top of the cactus like that, or if I happen to fall to the side and say like where this one landed, if there was a cactus here, 
That's going to destroy the blocks. I don't know if that's going to be too close of a space to have them together. So instead what I might do is take off this row here and then start a row here instead. So then I can just keep everything in a line like that. And that gives enough space where the cactus shouldn't land on each other. And has enough distance to fall down uh, in between and not get destroyed by uh, um, by landing on another cactus blocking it caught by the water stream. So I think that's the layout I'm going to go for on this side. And then I got to plan out this side. So I think I'm going to basically just do the, the same sort of thing where I just line it up like that and then skip a space and go and do it here right uh, no it doesn't line up as nicely so I'll play around with the spacing on this as well and come back and show you what I uh, decided on okay so it's raining again I was trying to hold off wait for the rain to uh, finish but I don't want to waste a lot of time here uh, so in the meantime I went ahead and I got the layouts figured out so you already saw this one uh, and I went ahead and I dug it down at two levels as well. I thought I was going to go deeper, but after seeing the size of this, um, I, I think I'm going to be okay with uh, with just doing it at this level. And then uh, over time, building up maybe another couple of levels and I can go down a couple of levels in the future if I really need to uh, get a greater output of cactus. Now, I'm not going to need a whole bunch of green dye forever, so I think in the short term this will give me what I need. And I don't think there's a huge demand for green dye on the server either, so this should suffice. So this is just under 60 uh, blocks and I think this is a little under 20. What's it? 3, 6, 9, 12, and then, all right, so 24 in the middle here. So it's about a little under a stack and a half between these two. So, um, yeah, the next thing that I want to do is actually start getting all the uh, the sand in place. Now, to do that, uh, let's see, I don't need this on me at the moment. I need string. So what I'm going to do... Uh, actually, let me grab some sand as well. That would be useful if I'm going to be working with sand. Uh, I only need a couple stacks of that. So, what I'm going to do is, underneath all of these stone blocks, I'm going to put a piece of string. So now, if I break this, what you should be able to do is place sand on top of it. So, that, uh, um... Uh, it gives me some space to work with and, and move around down here without having to have a, a, a block in the way and have an extra layer or anything getting uh, um, getting in the way and causing problems. So I'm going to be using the string to uh, to do that, just have free, free access uh, as I work down here. So I'll go ahead and put in all the string and then replace all the blocks up top with, uh, with sand. Okay, so there we go. We got the cactus put in place on both, or not the cactus, the sand put in place on both sides. Now we got to start putting in the cactus. And we also need to put in blocks to uh, break the cactus when it grows so that it doesn't, um, also doesn't just keep on growing. We got to have a way to, uh, to collect these materials. So I th think, hmm. Not sure what the easiest way to do this will be. Maybe putting in the cactus first and then putting in those blocks. Uh, let's try that. And hopefully I don't do a terrible job here and get all banged up and... Oh, I can just kind of uh, reach everything from the center block, can't I? Yeah, there we go. That works out real well. Okay. So let's move up one and two. And if I put a block, say here, 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 and here, and I can start working with this. Okay. So these are not necessarily the last, uh, not the last, these are not necessarily the places where I'm going to be having all of them. Um, because obviously if this were to grow up right now, any cactus in the middle here would just uh, get destroyed on itself. So, this will allow me to kind of start planning things out and spacing them. So I know I need, say, one right there, and that'll take care of these two. Now if I come out to the side, that'll take care of these two, so I can break uh, 
this. And I'm using spruce here because the spruce may get, you know, destroyed like that just happened. And it's okay because I have a ton of spruce. I'll be, uh, I'll be all right with that. So I can do the same thing on this side if I come out and go here and here. And then here and here to take care of those blocks. And I'll go through and I'll have to double check and make sure everything is, is where I need it and where I want it. But uh, I think we'll be in good shape. So that side's good. Oh, I missed these blocks here. So I gotta come out and get those. So that's fine. Uh, all that is good. Let's grab these, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So you don't need to see me sit here and, and, and piddle around and figure all that out. So I'll do that off camera and then show you uh, how that went. Okay, there we go. So we got it all set up now. You just got to see it work right there. So everything is now flowing into here. Let's just throw that down. And we're already doing pretty well with how much we're getting. We're already over half a stack for maybe only a couple of minutes of, of work here in this area. Um, so yeah, that, that's going out uh, pretty well. Let's go check on the other one, see if that's been producing anything that's been worthwhile so far. Uh, let's get out of the way of the string. And, you know, 12. So you, you get, you know, in a, in a short amount of time, probably about half the output of what the, uh, the farm has planted. So that works out pretty good. Now the next thing that I need to do is start building up these walls and making it look uh, a little bit nicer. Welcome back. So I went ahead and I started doing a little bit of a decorative uh, process here. So I'm keeping it simple. Um, just using cobblestone and stone bricks to build up the walls. So I am going for like a silo sort of look. And I went ahead and I even replaced the floor where you have the water collection, item collection, all that sort of stuff with the uh, stone, smooth stone slabs. Is that what they're called? I always forget what they're called. Um, so yeah, this is something a little bit different for me. I normally build farms and then decide, say I'm going to decorate them later and then never get around to decorating it. So I'm trying to be better with that right now and doing the decorations as I go. Uh, I'm also sitting here contemplating if I want to go ahead and build up a second layer. I think I could do a second layer on this one and then maybe another two layers on that one because I do want it to look like a silo and for it to be a silo, you do need to have some, uh, some you know, verticalness height. That's the word, height to it. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking about doing that. Uh, and I also don't know what I want to do for the roof and how I want that to look, so building more layers, that's a good way to procrastinate and put things off. So let's do that. Alright, so welcome back. I've gone ahead and I've added a couple more layers here. And good, we got rid of that spider. So I've added another layer to the small silo and another two layers to this one here. So let's go ahead and check out how much we actually have. And now the rates, you know, I haven't really been keeping track of, but I actually have more than what I'm going to end up collecting here because uh, I've been having to come back to these chests in order to get enough cactus to do the additional layers. So uh, it may look like I didn't get that much, but I actually have gotten more than what you're seeing. And that is a good hole right there. Can I get that chest? There we go. Oh. There we go. All right, so maybe <laughs> maybe I lied. That That is, is turning out pretty well so far. Um, and if I go back up to the top here, I don't think we're going to see much uh, uh, in this chest. I didn't check this one before I finished, but let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, just the log. So this one's going to start producing soon because I just finished it up here. Um, yeah, so let's get back out of here and hop up. And I think this is the height I'm going to go to. I don't think I'm going to do any more, but let's just do a flyby and see how big this looks from the sky here. And if we turn back around and yeah, I think that's a decent enough shape. I'll probably um, add a little bit more on top, but I won't put in another layer for, for cactus uh, just so I can get a little bit more height and not look so short and stubby. Uh, yeah, and I gotta make sure I put on a, a roof uh, to these because, you know, you get those sort of instances where the blocks get stuck 
on top of the blocks from uh, from time to time. So we don't want that happening here. And then I need to start decorating these. So obviously I, I don't want to leave these as just giant gray pillars of stone brick. I just wanted to get something built and, and get it up and, and, and covered. Um, so it's not uh, an eyesore of cactus. Plus I need to make sure the cactus was all self-contained in here. And then I also need to figure out how I'm going to be doing uh, storage. So what I might do, not storage, but uh, moving the items around. So what I think I'm going to do is I can run hopper lines going all the way out through here um, on that side. And I think I can do the same thing on this one. Yeah, so I have this middle space here that I can just run the hoppers all the way out through to the end. And then maybe have like a collection area somewhere, you know, over here. Or, you know, maybe on the side. I don't, I don't know what space would be more, um, more appropriate to do it in. But yeah, just having a collection system where all the, uh, so in this case, two layers and that one, three layers come to one source. So I don't have to go up and down and, and collect them all. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to be doing the design. I think I'll end up using some of the spruce wood that I have here. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll get rid of some of these outside blocks. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe I'll replace some uh, the corners with with the spruce, or maybe I'll do it like on the outsides here or something. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it too much. I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. Um, or maybe just like put some pillars like here on like the outside as like a support system or, or something. I don't know. I got to play around with that. I don't think I'm going to do that today though. Um, but I do want to try and, and figure out how I'm going to do the top parts for the roofs. Uh, and then maybe next episode, hopefully I'll have the idea for the smelter. And we can start using uh, that to smelt up the cactus into the cactus green and then start building our main base. So maybe that'll be two episodes out. But uh, let's stop looking ahead to the future and focus on right now. And I got to start playing around with shapes and ideas for these roofs. So I'm going to do a little practice, a little fiddling around and see if I can come up with something that I like. And if I get anything good or if I feel like I'm on a good path, I'll uh, catch back up with you. So welcome back guys, uh, I got a little bit of carried away with the roof design. Went ahead and I did the entire roof on both of them and then started designing a little bit on the silos. So I went with spruce wood on top for both roofs doing a half dome and then I covered it with buttons that way the roofs are now spawn proof and I don't have to worry about laying them up. Um, hello? Okay, random Minecraft sign, uh, sound. So yeah, that's what I did for the roofs. And then I just put in uh, some spruce wood as kind of like, I guess it's the support structures as well as some uh, spruce fences to mix up the design a little bit and give it something a little bit more interesting. Now, I don't think this is going to be the final design. I'll probably go in and maybe put in like some windows and do some other things in here to spruce it up because this this is just just way too flat but I'm gonna do that another time because uh, I'm basically gonna wrap up the episode here but I've also went ahead and I installed storage collection uh, for, for each of the layers and I think what I'm gonna do is silos sometimes like have like these chutes or tubes or things that come out from the side of them and come down so I think I'm gonna hide the hoppers by just adding on like a chute or something like that and that'll help with the flatness as well so for the time being, they're going into this chest. So these are uh, the, the drops from just the two layers here. And these are, this is the small one. And then on this side, we got the same thing going on. It goes up a little bit higher because we got three layers over here. And we probably could uh, actually install a fourth layer, layer if we really wanted to. And that's dropping off down into here. And you can see this is doing much better. That's a uh, great, great haul right there. That's going to give me more than enough than a uh, 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 cactus green dye. Uh, than I'll probably need and then I think I'm gonna actually have you know again I'll have the tube or the chute or whatever coming out from the side here and I think I'll run the hoppers to like some point around here and then build some little little building that will hide the portal as well as take care of all the uh, the item storage that'll so come in and they'll both meet up here and then item elevator up into uh, some chests or something like that so that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode if you enjoy <laughs> 
<laughs> I still forget. I still forget that this stupid helmet is making me look like a derp here. Uh, so yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. And this is uh, going to be releasing on Halloween. So have a happy and safe and fun Halloween if you're in a part of the world that does celebrate it. Um, and if you're not in the part of the world that celebrates it, we'll just have an awesome, amazing and fantastic Wednesday. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave a comment. Until next time, guys, this is Bowtie. Peace out. Nope, that, that didn't work. There we go. Ow, ow, ow. Let's not die. Okay, bye bye We don't fly in this view. It's terrible. Yeah.